Kincaid Elementary in five, four, three, two, one. The three of us are from Kincaid Elementary. We built a rocket and um, we are we are launching it in the um, the Science Olympiad competition here today at Walton High School. When we first launched it, it didn't have a parachute, so that was something we had to do before the competition. We did pretty good. The time was 8.78 seconds. Um, if we probably didn't have the parachute, it probably would have been less. Our project was to be building a bridge with 50 straws and 50 centimeters of tape. The whole bridge had to be able to hold a heavy piece of clay. The last thing we had to do was put it between two chairs and measure the length between the chairs and the bridge to hold the bridge. I learned that we need to put a little bit more tape up here so we can hold more support. The Regional Science Olympiad brings together groups of students from all schools in Cobb County, both public and private. They're here to demonstrate their skills in a wide variety of science activities. For a large part of the day, the children take tests to demonstrate their skills. But the fun part for spectators are the building events, like straw tower, water rocket, bridge building, and mystery architecture. Mystery architecture is we, we have to use all the supplies they give us in the bag. We, we could use the bag also. But they give us scissors, tennis ball roller, and a piece of tape to um, build the highest structure we can. And it has to hold the tennis ball so they can measure it. I think it's good because instead of, instead of being home playing video games, you could be here doing activities on a contest with your friends. We made a straw tower. It's supposed to hold a five centimeter by five centimeter cardboard um, loading block that it, we add weights on. It has to be taller than 30 centimeters and it has to, and the tallest wins and the one who holds the most wins. I think the science, it's really different than all the other subjects. You can actually build things, but in the other subjects you have to research and do different things than doing hands-on. The students that are involved in it are really dedicated to the event. They practice before school, after school, they practice on weekends, they get their parents to take them to the TELUS Museum so they can study the rocks some more. They're looking, checking out books out of the library. They're constantly doing whatever they can to make their event more successful and to practice it. So the kids put in a million different hours just because they love what they're doing and they're excited about it. Our coaches put in many hours that they don't get paid for. They do it because they love the children and they want them to have these experiences and opportunities. They know that it'll make them better prepared for middle school and better prepared for life. So this event would not happen without the coaches. So we definitely appreciate all the time and effort they put into it. On behalf of Cobb County Schools, I'd like to thank all of the teachers, parents, students, and administrators that make this day happen. And a special thank you to Cobb EMC for their generous support of our young scientists.